Unless this is your first day on the internet, you've probably noticed that AI is popping up everywhere. Whether it's ChatGPT writing blogs or YouTube scripts for people, or maybe it's mid-journey art or the Lenza AI that was really popular a couple weeks ago on Instagram. Well, another AI bombshell just dropped, which is that Apple has now released AI narrated audiobooks. I gave it a listen and I gotta be honest, I didn't think it was great, However, I have heard audiobooks narrated by real humans that have sounded worse. Now, I'm not a big audiobook person to begin with because I am so picky about the narration, but I think the natural reaction for a lot of readers and fans of audiobooks is going to be, ew. Ultimately, if you're into books, you're into art because that's what books are, is their art. And of all the things that truly separate human beings from animals, I would say art is pretty high up on that list, especially when it comes to the written word. And when you think about art, it's really about human emotions, right? And computers can obviously replicate what humans have created, but they can't create a human emotion from scratch like a real human being can. And I wonder if you're an avid audiobook reader, will you be able to tell the difference even if the voice sounds human? This makes me think of one of my favorite audiobooks of all time, which is World War Z. And the thing that was very special about that audiobook is each chapter was narrated by a different person. And it gave the audiobook so much character and flavor. And if you listen to the Apple AI, you can tell that it's not quite to that point yet. Actually, let me, let me play you a sample of it. There's two, there's Madison and Jackson. Movement in the greenhouse drew his eye and a woman emerged. At first, he wasn't sure. The woman was about the right age, but there was something different about her, about the way she carried herself. Up to find a wall of trees had materialized ahead of us. I hadn't noticed because I'd been staring at my feet. I couldn't believe the fields actually had an end. It was further away than I would have liked, but at least I now had something tangible to run. As you can see, they sound pretty good, although I just don't think they're quite there yet for me. But look, it's not all bad. There is an upside to this, right? The fact that AI narration can do this means that publishers can probably put out audiobooks at a much more rapid rate because recording an audiobook, if you think about how long it takes you to actually read a book, and if you were to read it aloud, it would be even slower. And then there's going to be errors when the narrator is speaking and editing that needs to be done. So this will allow for audiobooks to be completed in a much quicker way. And obviously not every book gets an audiobook version. It costs money to pay someone to do the narration. So now if you remove that from the equation, smaller publishers or books with less of a budget behind them can then get the audiobook version. And of course, audiobooks make novels and stories and books in general more accessible because some people can't read, some people are blind, some people don't have the means to acquire and store and have physical books. But then you have to ask the question, what happens to those who make their living by doing narration? If there are two things I've learned about technology, it's that one, it's a one-way street. AI isn't gonna go anywhere and it'll probably just only rapidly increase from this point on. And two, nothing is ever purely good or bad. There's pros and cons to each. It's just a matter of whether or not the pros outweigh the cons. In this situation, I don't know if that's the case. I guess time will tell. What do you think? Are you an audiobook fan? Would you listen to an audiobook narrated by AI? What do you think about Apple's current voices? Do you think they're up to snuff? I would love to get the opinions of people who listen to more audiobooks than I do.